Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to make some crock pot collard greens. If you notice, I have three frozen bags of collard greens that I picked up from the store. They're already chopped up and everything. And I'm going to cut the um, bag open. And I got my crock pot plugged in. And I'm going to go ahead and put the collard greens in the crock pot. Don't forget to subscribe and like to the channel. I decided to do some collard greens because I was planning on making collard greens. But a friend of mine just happened to say, I need a vegetable dish because I'm, eat I'm eating vegetables now. So I said, okay, I got one already coming up. All right, we got all three bags inside the crock pot. Now we're gonna add some more things to this. This is the Maggi chicken bouillon cubes. And what I like to do with these, um, I don't wanna put them in a hole because sometimes they might stay in the same piece. So I like to take them, open them up, and just crumble them up with my fingertips and put them inside of the um, the pot pot with the collard greens. Because you just want a good um, blend distribution of the, um, the bouillon cubes. And I'm just breaking them up and trying to get them into all angles of this crock pot and over the frame. Next, I'm gonna use this garlic, salt, and parsley, which I like to use for a lot of my dishes. And you could put, you know, as much as you want, or um, some people just can't tolerate a whole lot of salt. And I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'm just going left to right, left to right, and up and down. So it might come to about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And just a cup of water because the collard greens are frozen and it's just gonna um, have a little bit of pot liquor at the bottom. Now, if you're not gonna be home to watch them, you might want to add two cups of water just to be on the safe side because everybody's crock pot is different and the timers are different as well. And you just set it how long you think it should needs to be on. For this one, I did five hours, but I've done it in four hours as well. And guess what? That did not take very long. And at this point, you just cover it up and going about your business, whatever you plan on doing, put a movie on, go have a good time with the family, whatever you need to do. Because your, your dish is cooking. But first and foremost, make sure you stir the um, your seasonings and the bouillon cubes into the collard greens and the water and the olive oil. Stir it up good and make sure you get it um, all the way down at the bottom of the pan. Or should we say pot? Thank you. 
put the lid on it let it sit for a couple hours before you um, check back okay it's been a couple hours or so and I'm going to take and stir the collards and if you notice, you can see um, a difference in greens at the bottom. It's like a darker green and the top is a bright green. So that means it's not even done yet. So you want to make sure you get some of that bright green and get it down to the bottom of the crock pot. So now you're stirring like your seasons, your olive oil and everything together. Next, I'm going to add some Cajun. If you like a little bit of kick to your collard greens, this will definitely give it a kick. Stir that up good, too. So remember, we're like at the halfway point and we're adding more flavor into it. Now at this point, my time is about up and we're practically at the end is pretty much done. You wanna make sure all your leaves are that dark color, that dark green color, basically all the same color. You don't want to see a little light and dark together. And make sure they're all the same color. And I'm gonna let it sit for a few more minutes. But first, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of sugar to break up some of the spiciness, some of the seasonings, kind of balance out the flavor. Because sometimes greens, um, depending on the time of the year, can have a bitter taste to it. Now this is a very quick recipe. Because I know like in North Carolina, you could get a big old bag of collard greens. And it takes a good while to clean them and get the dirt and bugs and different things that will be in there. So um, this is just something real quick you got to taste with some collard greens or you want to spend some time with your family this cuts a lot of time out in the prep work Right, go ahead, let the sugar sit for a few minutes in there. You'll know and don't be afraid to taste it. See what it tastes like. See if you need to add or take away something. Let's go ahead and voila, it's ready. I think it's about time to plate it. Next, I'm going to add this um, Peco de Gallo. My son's turned me on to this. I just love it because it's, it's like the tomatoes are already chopped up. It's onions, lime, and cilantro. And I just love it. I actually like to put it on meats and vegetables. So I'm going to take this and um, plate it up when I put my collard greens on the plate. Here we go, isn't that beautiful? And it tasted really good. Please don't forget to subscribe and also share.